assalamu alaikum dear students you are watching mlt mcqs i am kamran today mcqs will be from a diabetes tests or the test used for a diabetes and we will talk about uh, 11 best mcqs so let's start the mcqs our mcq number one is what would a low c peptide test level indicate what would a low c peptide level indicate options for this mcq are liver disease infection edison disease or all of the above and the right answer for this mcq is option number four a low c peptide level indicate liver disease infection as well as Edison disease. MCQ number 2 is What does the glycohemoglobin which is also called HbA1c glycated hemoglobin concentration So what does the glycohemoglobin test determine? Options for this MCQ are 2 Positive glycohemoglobin test confirm the diagnosis of diabetes mellitus. Glucose binds to hemoglobin in RBC. RBC has a 120 day lifespan and therefore indicates the amount of glucose in blood. One positive glycohemoglobin test confirms the diagnosis of diabetes mellitus. One positive glycohemoglobin test confirms the diagnosis of type 2 diabetes mellitus. So the right answer for this MCQ is option number 2. The glycohemoglobin test determine that glucose binds to hemoglobin in a red blood cell and red blood cell has a 120 day lifespan and therefore the glycohemoglobin test determine or it indicates the amount of glucose in blood. So MCQ number 3 is what can affect the C peptide level? What can affect the C peptide level? Options for this MCQ are the patient has kidney failure, the patient has taken insulin, the patient has taken oral type 2 diabetes medication or all of the above and the right answer for this MCQ is option number 4. The patient has kidney failure, the patient has taken insulin, the patient has taken oral type 2 diabetes medication. So these all are the factors which will affect the C peptide level. MCQ number 4 is what is the important or what is the importance of the C peptide level? What is the importance of C peptide level test? Options for this MCQ are the C peptide level determines the level of glucose in arterial blood the C peptide level is considered equal to the amount of insulin produced by the pancreas. The C peptide level determines the level of glucose in venous blood. None of the above and the right answer for this MCQ is option number 2. The importance of the C peptide level is that the C peptide level is considered equal to the amount of insulin produced by the pancreas. MCQ number 5 is what should you do if the patient tells you he ate a jelly donut the morning of the D xylose absorption test. What should you do if the patient tells you that he ate a jelly donut the morning of the d xylose absorption test. Options for this MCQ are postpone the test for 24 hours, administer the test, administer the test but tell the lab tech or lab technologist 
or lab technician that the patient ate a jelly donut or postponed the test for 12 hours? The right answer for this MCQ is option number 1. Postpone the test for 24 hours. MCQ number 6 is How is the fasting blood glucose test administered? How is the fasting blood glucose test administered? Options for this MCQ are the patient test for 8 hours, all diabetes medications are withheld until the test is completed. The patient eats a regular meal but refrains from ingesting sugar sweetened beverages. The patient eats a regular meal including ingesting sugar sweetened beverages. The patient eats a bland meal but refrains from ingesting sugar sweetened beverages. And the right answer for this MCQ is option number 1. The patient fasts for 8 hours and all diabetes medications are withheld until the test is completed. Dear students, subscribe to our channel MLT MCQs. In this channel, MCQs are given every other day or every day from all MLT subjects which will be very helpful in all your exams whether the exams are from your colleges from your universities or for foreign jobs so kindly subscribe our channel mlt mcqs our mcq number seven is what is the initial test for diabetes this mcq is very important for your for your exams for your viva questions what is the initial test for a diabetes options for this mcq are fasting blood glucose which is also called fbg in short form random blood glucose which is also called uh, rbg in short form oral glucose tolerance test which is also called ogtt in short form are none of the above and the right answer for this mcq is Option number 1 fasting blood glucose so the initial test for diabetes is fasting blood glucose FBG MCQ number 8 is why is the desilose absorption test administered why is the desilose absorption test administered options for this MCQ are to screen malabsorption syndrome to screen diabetes mellitus to screen insulin production to screen type 2 diabetes mellitus and the right answer for this mcq is option number one the desilose absorption test is administered to screen malabsorption syndrome so for this purpose Desilose absorption test is very important. MCQ number 9 is What can affect blood glucose levels? What can affect blood glucose levels? Options for this MCQ are illness, smoking, stress, or all of the above. And the right answer for this MCQ is option number one all of the above so illness smoking as well as stress can affect blood glucose levels mcq number 10 is why is the glycohemoglobin test administered <coughs> why is the glycohemoglobin which is also called hba1c test why is this test administered Options for this MCQ are to determine if the diabetes patient has been maintaining an adequate blood glucose level for the previous 60 days. To determine if the diabetes mellitus patient has been maintaining an adequate blood glucose level for the previous 120 days. To determine 
if the diabetes mellitus patient has been maintaining an adequate blood glucose level for the previous 30 days or none of the above and the right answer for this MCQ is option number 2 to determine if the diabetes mellitus patient has been maintaining an adequate blood glucose level for the previous 120 days our last MCQ is HbA1c value of 5.9 to 6.5 indicate HbA1c which is also called uh, glycohemoglobin this value of 5.9 to 6.5 indicate options for this MCQ is prediabetes, cirrhosis, smoking or brain tumor and the right answer for this MCQ is option number 1. HbA1c value of 5.9 to 6.5 indicates pre-diabetes. Thank you so much dear students. That's all for today. Like this video and share it with your friends if you found this video useful for yourself. So take good care of yourself. Allah Hafiz.